Hey friends, Kathleen Vicenzati here. It is Tuesday and you know what that means? It means it's Chats with Kath and that's me. Um, hope you guys are having a great week. Oh my goodness, it's like just crazy. I'd sit there and look like, is it Tuesday already? And I've been trying to make a commitment just to come to you and offer some value content and just talk about things that are on my mind and wondering if maybe there are things that you think about too in your business and as you are looking to become the best version of you possible, right? Because we know as leaders in business, we have to stay relevant and we have to stay on top of trends and different things, constantly be learning and growing. And today I wanna to talk about AI. So AI is like crazy, right? I wanna know, you know, what do you think about AI? Like you hear it all the time. And when you think about it, AI has been around for decades, like since the 50s. The problem is, is that technology and computers couldn't process data fast enough to make it as effective as it is now, but our capacity to store and analyze data like doubles every year almost. So we finally got into a space where we can use computers to process information to help us be more effective in so many ways. And you know, some of you might be thinking, oh, AI, you know, time out, not gonna use it, don't wanna use it. Uh, you know, people might be afraid, is it taking jobs? People might be afraid of AI because uh, it's inauthentic and um, it's stealing content. Um, lots of legal things and lots of things that are gonna be circulating about AI. And I did a post actually this week and it's amazing to me how people have never used AI or you know, are using it a dabble. I have to say I'm a dabbler. I just started using it this year, uh, mostly for creative inspiration and copy and ideas. Uh, fascinating to me, uh, you know, using chatbots and really just asking the AI to craft emails, Facebook posts, pull hashtags and do different things. Um, it's kind of fun to play with, um, but it also expanded my mind, like things I would think about, oh, I didn't think about that perspective or saying it in that way. Of course, you wanna tweak it and make it your own. And anytime you're using AI to help you write a document, always ask for sources because that will also lend credibility to the content you're using and sharing. But it is just fascinating um, how many people haven't even tried it yet or used it. And I mean, I am just like a novice, not very expert at all, but you know, just getting familiar on how, the, how you ask it to do things, how it responds and just kind of trial and error with it. And, you know, it's one of those things that I feel like the early adopters of AI are the ones that are gonna be so much further ahead in business going forward. Because just like, you know, you think about like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, those early adopters have like the most followers and the best engagement. Um, when you think about early adopters of like the internet and website, right? I think it's something that we have to, learn about and become familiar with and find ways that it can really help us be more effective communicators, um, be more effective marketers, be more effective um, doctors and lawyers, like crazy. Like I actually um, was reading an article about how AI can scan medical journals and has connected um, symptoms to treatments that have saved people's lives that they would have never known if um, the AI information wasn't available to process all this vast volume and connect the dots for people. Like it's just mind blowing the things that AI can do, but I'm approaching you from, you know, an entrepreneur, small business owner, <laughs> salesperson perspective, and um, challenging you to really start discovering and learning how to use AI. Now, one of the companies that I do training for and work with very closely is um, Codebreaker Technologies. And what I love about Codebreaker Technologies is that they marry high touch of understanding who your customer is, their values, their core beliefs, and um, marrying that with technology. How can we be more effective communicating with people based on what's important to them? And how can we use AI to help us in that? How can we take something that sounds um, perfect to our ears, the information we need to process something, and how do we tweak that information so that somebody who's a different personality or has other values can understand and accept the information in a different way, 
manner, right? Uh, and that's what Codebreaker Technologies does. They take high touch and high tech and bring it together and really have tools that help uh, marketers, salespeople, business owners just be more effective in their communications and the way they're talking, sending emails, messages, posts, marketing, all the things. So I wanted to use an opportunity here to invite you to join me on a journey to learn more about it. I mean, again, I am like not an expert. I'm just learning, fascinated uh, by what it can do, the power of AI to help make your job more efficient, more effective, um, more productive. And I would invite you, I have a few guest passes to a three-part series that um, Kelly Tenney, who actually lives in Long Beach, um, she is a college professor. She's an um, expert course curriculum creator and an AI expert. Um, I think she actually even founded Women Who AI Conference. Um, but she's going to be doing a powerful three-day workshop, and I have some guest passes. I'd love to invite you. If you're curious about AI and learning how it can serve you uh, in your business, in your daily routine, um, I'd love to invite you to be my guest and join that three-part uh, workshop. So it's going to be on Thursdays. I, I can send you a link, just message below, and I can hook you up with um, the information and get you some guest passes to join me. But um, I want to know, like AI, how do you feel about it? What do you think about it? Are you using it? How are you using it? Um, I, again, am using it to help me be more creative, refine my messaging, but also as research too, really just to identify um, what customer pain points are, how to solve them, what are topics um, on people's minds, also sorting the uh, resources, sites, like where are you getting it, like kind of a bibliography, like where is your AI pulling the information, so important. Um, and it's gonna be a really evolving topic, so curious to see where it evolves um, in our business world and our business realm. But in the meantime, I wanna thank you for stopping by and kind of having this discussion with me, thinking about AI, how we can apply it in our business, in our world, uh, just to be more effective and better communicators of what we're doing. So uh, thanks for stopping by and um, I'll see you next week. Oh, and don't forget to comment below if you want the link to the information. Uh, thanks so much. Have a great day.